Let's take a look at the special buffers feature in the Surface Editor. So I'm going to head over to the Surface Editor and if we go to the Advanced tab we have Special Buffers and when we click on that we have Special Buffer 1, 2, 3, and 4 and we've got some uh, input uh, fields here with some mini sliders. Now by default it doesn't matter what we do to this we can input all kind of values and it's not going to affect our surfaces or our renders in any way. These are specifically tied to pixel and image filters uh, over in the processing tab. Let me close this down and hit control F8 and so basically they're tied to uh, pixel filters and image filters. Okay and uh, so what we really need to do is apply one of these uh, or a couple of these so we can see exactly how to set it up over here in the special buffers. Let's go ahead and do just a, a raw render without any, uh, any kind of filters. And what we can see here is we've got uh, some reflection. We've got several different surfaces and we've got some reflection going on and a little bit of specularity. But let's, uh, let's start with the reflections. I want to apply an image filter that's going to affect the reflections in my render. Okay, so I'm going to head over to Control F8 and under Add Image Filter, let's choose soften reflections. So I want to soften these reflections. If I double click, I'm going to use the, the default settings here, okay, with 100% softness. And let's go ahead and do a render. And we can see if I use page up and page down on the keyboard, we can kind of toggle between the two. You can see it's softened all of my reflections. Now, what if I don't want it to affect all of my surfaces? Okay, well, I can, I can adjust that. So what I'll do is double click to get to the properties of the softened reflections. And I'm going to use scale by surface buffer. Okay, so I'll activate that. And now when I do my render, it's not blurring anything. Because I'm telling it to go use the values over in the special buffer. So let's head over to the special buffers. And I've split the floor into two different pieces just so we can kind of um, see there. So I'm going to pick the floor left, which would be right over here. And uh, let's go to special buffers. Now, buffer one, let's, let's take a look. I'm going to open up control F8 and move this over here and then open up special buffers. Buffer one is looking for the very first filter in the list. Okay, so right now this is the only field that uh, changing will affect anything because I don't have two, three, four. Okay, so let's go ahead and type in, um, well let's go 100%. Okay, and let's do a render. So if we look, this half is blurred and this half isn't because this is the surface that I applied that to. Let's go ahead and blur this area right here. This is the pupil. So I'm going to go over to pupil, special buffers, and let's do 100% there. Okay, so we're blurring this surface and this surface, but not the other surfaces. So it allows me, it's, it's, it, the special buffers in this case are kind of like a mask. I'm masking out the areas that, uh, that I want to affect or the areas that I don't want to affect. Okay, so that's, that's one of the filters that takes advantage of the, the special buffers. Let's take a look at another one. And we're going to go ahead and leave this on here because then, then we can see that we can use the second special buffer, this input field right here. Okay, so I'm going to go back over to uh, Control F8, which is our processing tab. And I'm going to leave this one going. And I'm going to turn on, let's use Corona. Corona is like Bloom, except you have far more control. So it's kind of an advanced Bloom. And uh, let's go ahead and uh, use the default settings. Actually, you know what? Just so that we can really see it, and I don't necessarily suggest to do this, but I'm going to crank up the strength 200 and the size. Let's go 50. We're just going to go and kind of blow this, this sucker out. And I'll do a render. And so we got our render, and now it's going to be applying the uh, the corona, and you can you can really see it. See how it's it's just blooming, it's just it's blowing out the uh, the bright surface. Okay, so let's go ahead and see it's blowing out down here too. So we've got it blowing out in multiple places. But you know what? I'm going to blow it out here as well. So I'm going to go over to the pupil, and let's uh, change it from black to white, and let's change the luminosity. Let's go 30. Okay, and let's see, and the diffuse, I'm going to set that to 80. Just trying to really brighten the surface. 
Okay, so now we're going to, it's going to blow out this area as well. Okay, and it's taking a little bit longer because we've got uh, more area to cover. Okay, there we go. And so now I've got uh, all kind of stuff blowing out. Uh, it's a little extreme, but I want you to be able to see what's happening here. Okay, let's go back over. Let's let's kind of use um, these the special buffers as a masking tool. So I'm going to go back to Control F8, and uh, for Corona, the threshold mask. I'm going to set that. There's all kind of options, but I'm going to set it to special buffer. Okay, so now it's going to be looking for the information over there. So let's do a quick render. Okay, it's really quick because it's not applying it anywhere because of the it's got zero in that in that setting. So let's go ahead and uh, let's add it to the the pupil area, this front part right here. Uh, notice I still have the blur here. You're not really seeing the blur here because I've I've blown it out with uh, luminosity and and I raised the diffuse, uh, but the reflection's still there and it's being blurred. Uh, but let's go to the pupil and we'll go over to advance special buffers. And we can't, well, we can change the buffer one, but that's going to change the reflection. So we really need to change buffer two because that's the second. Let's, um, let's just take a look. Control F8 and, okay, see, so one, two, one, two. So I'm going to change this. Let's go, let's go 100. And we might go higher than that, uh, but let's take a look. Okay, so now it's applying Corona. See, we, we can see uh, the percentage there, and now we've got it there. Okay, so notice that it's blowing out here, but it's not blowing out here, okay? Because we've masked it. Let's go ahead and, and add just a little here. Let's not go uh, too high here. So that would be the, uh, the eye surface, special buffer. Okay, we've got zero in buffer one because we're not blurring the reflections there, but we still skip that. We go down to two and let's do 50. So we're going to do 50% uh, uh, for that value. So we'll have two different values, um, one for the front, which is the pupil, and one for the back, which is labeled as I. Okay, so see we've got a lot more here than here. So we're, we're able to control it on a per surface basis, taking, taking advantage of the special buffers. Okay, so you'll want to take a look at any of the uh, pixel or image filters that you're using um, to see if they take advantage of the special buffer. So if you've ever wanted to know what this special buffers button is all about, well, there you go. You can use it to uh, further control pixel and image filters um, in the processing tab by coming over to the surface editor, advanced, and it's per surface.